Ascension in a nutshell. Hi y'all, if you're new here, hi, my name is Caitlin. I am a psychic channel and Ascension mentor. But essentially, today's topic that we are going to be discussing today is going to be all about victimhood. But with that, y'all, let's get right into it. So on this Ascension journey, we experience something called an ego death. And an ego death is basically our release of our identity, our supposed identity, who we thought we were and who to an extent we thought we are supposed to be or told we are supposed to be. And y'all, before I move forward with this, I say ego death, but the ego doesn't die, y'all. You can't kill the ego, the ego doesn't die. It's just um, a kind of, uh, it's more resonant to this idea of reframing. So the ego becomes reframed, it, it becomes released. If you would like to see a video just on the ego, let me know in the comments below. And this transformation of our core beliefs, our core consciousness, to an extent continues as we align to our higher self. And y'all, it, it's gonna come back to victimhood in just one moment. But essentially during this process, we can experience um, a Kundalini awakening or even a dark night of the soul. And this is where we start discussing the victim perpetrator. See y'all, I told you we are gonna get to it. So during this process of the dark night of the soul, etc., uh, to an extent we can latch onto this consciousness of victim versus perpetrator as to an extent we are looking at the entirety of what we experience and to an extent within that, that can be jarring. And y'all, the whole goal of this dark night of the soul ego death is more along the lines of to release that victim perpetrator consciousness, that victim perpetrator mentality, so that we can grow on a soul level, grow spiritually. Basically, so that we can break free from that victim perpetrator mentality program once and for all. And in order to do that, we need to, to an extent, dive into these programs, like experience them in our outer reality so that we can release them. Most of us have been operating this way for our entire life, really getting into this victim loop so that we can, to an extent, release it. But oftentimes, y'all, we get stuck in it. And this ascension process really gives us the opportunity to really go in and release it. Just like one final release, once and for all. If we don't release it to an extent, oftentimes we can fall into um, spiritual traps such as spiritual psychosis, among other things. Y'all, these victim perpetrator overall consciousness is something that we are born into. And to an extent, it's deeply rooted in our subconscious so that to an extent we can be the ones to release it. So if we're having trouble breaking out of it, we can to an extent experience stuckness or blockages in our outer reality. And it's an unsustainable way of being. And eventually y'all, you'll have to liberate yourself from it once and for all, really release it from your system. Liberate it so that you can move forward and grow. And once this program is released, you start to embody the creator. You are the creator of your reality. You embody God source consciousness in your physical form. You are the creator. But y'all, that is all that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If you are interested in booking a reading with me, uh, you can DM me for more information. If to an extent you liked this video, if you like this kind of content, you can follow me. I post daily psychic content. So if you're interested, happy to have you. <laughs> but y'all, that is all that I have for today. So goodbye.